So, what is common between Richard Branson, Elon Musk and Sadhguru? How do they look at the fear of failure? Do they feel you need a mentor to achieve their level of success? What do they feel about avoiding burnout and learning to delegate? What is it that they are passionate about? What is the connecting factor between them? What do they feel about being creative and thinking outside the box? What is their advice for aspiring entrepreneurs? We will also toy with the idea. Does Satguru have a billionaire lifestyle? And how Elon Musk, Richard Branson and Satguru are impacting the world in their own special way. All this and much much more coming up in this episode of Luxury Unplugged. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Neeti Keswani and welcome to Luxury Unplugged. This is a podcast for entrepreneurs like you wanting to simplify your work life and enhance productivity. Also, time and again we bring you stories around luxury lifestyle that gives an edge to your growth mindset. If you like this episode, be sure to subscribe so that you are notified when a new episode is posted. So let's get started on this interesting topic. Richard Branson and Elon Musk are known for their ambitious, innovative and entrepreneurial spirit. They have both founded successful businesses in a variety of industries and are always looking for new opportunities to change the status quo. They have both founded successful businesses in a variety of industries and are always looking for new opportunities. Both men are also passionate about making a difference in the world whether it is through their businesses or through their philanthropic work. Both Richard Branson and Elon Musk are known for their out of the box thinking. They are always looking for new and creative ways to solve problems. But the two billionaires don't agree on everything. They are in alignment on one particular life lesson though, which they have both learned the hard way. And that is, starting a company is not glamorous. It will consume you. They're going to be hardships. They're going to be failures. But you should do it anyway why because the world needs more people who are trying to make things better branson said at the southwest festival in austin texas both men have had their share of failures but they continue to pursue their passions and work hard to make a difference in the world because it's worth it says branson all the pain and agony that you go through to get your company off the ground is worth it because you're changing people's lives for the better you're giving them jobs you're giving them products or services that make their lives better in some way you have to be a little crazy to do something truly amazing and elon musk wholeheartedly agrees to that he says I think it's important to have a good understanding of what you want and why you want it and not be swayed by the opinion of others. He said at a conference in India. Now if you're trying to do something new and different it will probably be harder than expected. So if you're feeling that entrepreneurial itch don't let anyone talk you out of it not even your own doubts. As Musk and Branson prove with a bit of grit and determination you can achieve anything you set your mind to 
because there is the fear of failure. Both Branson and Musk had plenty to say on this topic given that their business ventures almost fell to pieces in early years. Elon Musk had most traumatic years when around 2008-2009 when he desperately needed financing for his electric car venture Tesla during the global economic recession. It was the last hour of the last day that financing needed to be closed or the company would go bankrupt he said and the stock market had gone into a free fall and investors kept changing the terms. Musk took over the reins as CEO and funneled millions of his own money into Tesla. His advice is to assume that a company could fall apart any minute. To optimize the chances of success, Musk recommends laser focusing on building a delightful product in very early years. On some occasions Branson has joked that I'm surprised his hair is black and not grey. Because Branson's own locks started turning grey in the early days of Virgin. He often talks about a bank manager was sitting on our doorstep saying on Friday that he would foreclose the Virgin Group on Monday. Branson said we had to scramble over the weekend to get our overdraft facility down the company was able to get its finances in shape by sheer luck and continue to attempt to disrupt the traditional airline industry so branson agrees that entrepreneurs need to fight to survive which goes without saying however you should not take that fight too personally because they're going to be burnouts. So, let's understand what is common between Richard Branson and Elon Musk. Both are billionaires who have built their empires through hard work, innovation and a dedication to customer service. Both are highly philanthropic and have devoted time and resources to charitable causes. Both men are also in agreement about the importance of a guru or mentor although not necessarily as a person but I'll get to that in a minute. It's really important to have somebody that you respect that can give you that guidance. Branson has said on several occasions because mentors support growth. They serve as a source of knowledge, they can help set goals. They can maintain accountability and offer encouragement. They can help make connections and they can serve as a trusted ally that can offer constructive feedback. However, Elon Musk differs. He says that mentors need not be a person per se. For him, books are his teachers. Musk used textbooks to teach himself rocket science did you know that he ensures he keeps in touch with industry heavyweights and when musk was asked if he had any mentor who had an influence on him at the economic club of chicago in 2012 he was quick to reply i love reading biographies and autobiographies of apple founder steve jobs us founding father benjamin franklin and inventors Nikola Tesla, Thomas Edison, Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein. So if you are looking to achieve success in business like Richard Branson and Elon Musk, take their advice and find a mentor who can help you along the way. However, the way you choose your mentor is totally your choice. Now what do they have in common with Sadhguru? Sadhguru is one of the most revered spiritual leaders in the world. He is known for his wisdom, compassion and ability to help people achieve their highest potential. He is a yogi, a mystic, a visionary. He is known for his wisdom, compassion. He has a deep understanding of human nature and the subconscious mind and he's also a master of inner sciences such as yoga, meditation and metaphysics. 
He has dedicated his life to helping people achieve inner peace and happiness. What many people don't know is that he also has a lot in common with two of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world, Richard Branson and Elon Musk. Born in rural South India, Sadhguru has been recognized as one of the most insightful spiritual teachers of our time. He has founded a number of Isha Foundation programs that offer yoga and meditation classes, which apparently has enormous number of students enrolling each and every month from the entire world. He is a remarkable figure and his work in promoting yoga and environmental conservation is invaluable. Like Branson and Musk, he's a staunch advocate of using business as a tool for social change. However, Sadhguru's lifestyle is considerably more modest than that of his billionaire counterparts. Ultimately, it is his dedication to his work and his tireless efforts to make a difference in the world that sets Sadhguru apart from the rest. All three men are passionate about making a difference in the world. They want to help people achieve their goals and live their best lives. They also share a commitment to innovation and creativity. They are known for their out-of-box thinking. They are always looking for new and innovative ways to solve problems. So let's understand what they feel about avoiding burnout and learning to delegate. Branson's key piece of advice for entrepreneurs is to find a talented person to run the day-to-day operations of the company as it begins to grow. Try to have a talented team of professionals. Don't try to do it all by yourself. That frees up your time to maintain your health and fitness, spend time with family and contemplate the big picture. You can always find someone as good as yourself or better, he said. And you need to be a good listener. You'll get so many ideas from other people. On reflection, even Musk admits that assuming the top position at two of his companies is too much. However, he is probably not the ideal role model if you're an entrepreneur that intends on maintaining a work-life balance. Because he tends to think about his company in his sleep, seven days a week, no breaks, nothing. And he feels that that's what you should do when you're starting a company. But Sadhguru follows his own advice to take regular breaks, get enough sleep and making time for loved ones. He also emphasizes the importance of delegation, stating that it is essential to have a team of people you can trust to help you achieve your goals. On making a meaningful difference in the world, now Branson is perhaps better known for his philanthropic work than his business career. He spends much of his time working with various charities including Children with AIDS, Swan Lifeline and Greenpeace. Now from the outside he suggests that founders consider ways to reduce their carbon footprint. However, Branson advises business people to focus first on building the company and then consider ways to make a global impact. He has devoted far more of his time to various causes later in life. You won't make a massive difference as you build your company, said Branson, but once you've got your business established, then you can think, what can I do to make a real big difference in the world? Elon Musk is driven by a sense of responsibility to use his resources and skills to make a difference in the world. He co-founded Tesla Solar City and SpaceX with the goal of advancing sustainable energy and reducing our dependence on fossil fuels. He is also working on developing the Hyperloop, a high-speed transportation system that could one day reduce travel time between major cities to a matter of minutes. In a recent interview, he said that I think it's very important to have a future that is inspiring and appealing. It needs to be something that you can look forward to. Where are we going to go explore other planets and have a base on the moon perhaps, but we should be building a future that is appealing and an inspiring one, not one that is depressing. 
Sadhguru is also a vocal advocate for environmental conservation and has spoken out about the dangers of climate change. His recent one being soil preservation. Hashtag Save Soil So in an interview with CNN, Sadhguru said that humans are self-destructing and that unless we take urgent steps to address the issue, we will not exist as a species in the future. He is a strong proponent of using business as a tool for social change. In the same CNN interview, he said that entrepreneurs have a responsibility to create wealth and employment and that businesses should be run with the aim of serving the well-being of humanity. So now, let's touch the topic of being creative and thinking outside the box. All three men are known for their out-of-the-box thinking. They have always looked for new and innovative ways to solve problems. Richard Branson is constantly coming up with new business ideas and he attributes his success to his willingness to take risks. You've got to jump off cliffs all the time and build your wings on the way down, he said. Musk is also known for his innovative thinking. He has said that he comes up with his best ideas when he is in the shower or just before he falls asleep. For some reason, I find that if I just relax and let my mind wander, often there will be something that pops into my head that is apparently very random but turn out to be quite useful," Musk said in an interview with TED. Sadhguru is an advocate of -of out-of-the-box thinking as well. He has said that we need to break out-of-the-box logic that our education system teaches us. Like Albert Einstein, Sadhguru also believes that logic will take you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. Now, all three men are quick to credit others for their success. Branson has said that he's inspired by his mother, who was a fearless woman who taught him the importance of taking risks. He has also credited his employees for his success, saying, I couldn't have done it without them. Musk is also a big fan of collaboration. He has said that he views himself as a cheerleader for his employees and that he relies heavily on their feedback and expertise to help him achieve his goals. Sadhguru is quick to give credit to his teachers and mentors for his success. He has said that he learned a lot from his interactions with them and that they helped him develop a deeper understanding of life. On being determined and resilient. Now, all three men are known for their determination and resilience in the face of adversity. Branson has said that he never gives up, even when things are tough. He attributes his success to his never say die attitude. Musk is also known for his determination. And he has said that he's always looking for ways to push the envelope and that he is not afraid of failure. Sadhguru is known for his determination and resilience and has said that he is always looking for ways to push the envelope. Okay, cut this part. Sadhguru has also talked about being resilient and being determined for his focused goals. Now, all the three men are also role models for aspiring entrepreneurs and change makers. So, Branson is a role model for risk takers and business owners. And he has said that he wants to help young people turn their dreams into reality. And that he is always happy to offer advice to upcoming entrepreneurs. Musk is a role model for aspiring inventors and engineers. He has said that he wants to inspire people to believe in the power of technology and that he's always happy to share his knowledge with others. 
Sadhguru is also a role model for aspiring entrepreneurs and change makers because he has said that he wants to help young people he wants to help them turn their dreams into reality and that he's always happy to offer advice to upcoming entrepreneurs he also has set up a foundation which supports environmental protection and rural development on being philanthropic now all these three men are also known for their philanthropy branson has set up virgin group foundation which supports entrepreneurs he has supported a number of causes including environmentalism and education musk has also set up number of foundations which support sustainable energy projects he has also donated money to disaster relief efforts and medical research He has also said that he plans to donate most of his wealth to charity. Now Branson, Elon Musk and Sadhguru all want to offer a lot of wisdom through their passion projects to the aspiring entrepreneurs. Branson wants to be known as a man who dared to dream and he wants to inspire others to follow their dreams. He also said that the best way to achieve success is to find something you love and stick with it. Musk has said that the best way to achieve success is to work hard and never give up. And Sadhguru has said that the best way to achieve success is to be true to yourself and that you should never give up on your dreams. Now how do they feel about making a difference in the world? All three men are motivated by a desire to make a difference in the world. They want to use business as a force for good. Musk has said that he wants to make a difference by changing the world for the better, help people see the future in a positive way. And Sadhguru has said that he wants to make a difference by making life more joyful for everyone. Okay now coming up does Sadhguru have a billionaire lifestyle He rides a Ducati up and down Tamil Nadu's Vilangari hills holds conferences while being driven around in a Land Rover uses his pilot's license to fly his chopper plays golf in Dubai with world renowned columnist Thomas Friedman and is regularly interviewed by Bollywood's famous and funning from Kangana Ranaut to Juhi Chawla to Karan Johar and many many more so why does sadhguru live a fancy lifestyle what is the purpose of cars worth crores instead of spending it on the ashram or seva when that's what his vision is If Baba Ramdev is the king of Swadeshi empire and Shri Shri Ravi Shankar has acquired a man of peace persona Sadhguru is emerging as the guru of the good life for post millennial India In his own words he says while I do not have a billionaire lifestyle I live a comfortable life because it is important to be able to relate to people from all walks of life My cars and other material possessions are not just for show They help me connect with people from all over the world. I believe that it is important to help others and that is why I spend a lot of time and money on charity. I also believe that it is important to enjoy life and that is why I love cars and other luxurious items. At the end of the day it is all about balance. I work hard so that I can enjoy life and I enjoy life so that I can work hard. from business magnates to bollywood celebrities from politicians to exhausted wisdom seeking professionals sadguru's moksha is easy to attain he doesn't demand exacting standards chaki vasudev allows one to be a businessman or a politician one golf swing at a time 
he essentially is living a good life and is being a guru for the good times. So in conclusion, Richard Branson, Elon Musk and Sadhguru have a lot in common because all three of them are remarkable individuals with a great deal to offer the world. They share many of the same values and are all driven by a desire to make a difference. While their paths may be different, they all have something unique to offer. So what is stopping you from learning from the best? Think about it. Choose your mentor wisely. Learn as much as you can from them. Who knows you may eventually reach the same level of success as they have. On this note, signing off, this is Neeti Keswani for Luxury Unplugged, a podcast where luxury meets spirituality.